Last year, we made a video about manufacturers that produce and sell electric motorcycles and scooters in North America. Having gone through the comments on that release, we found quite a few new requests to revisit this topic. So, in today's video, we'll be talking about the latest changes in the industry and briefly reviewing the newcomers by American e-bike makers. Let's get the ball rolling. Livewire S2 Mulholland This year, Livewire, the electric motorcycle brand by Harley-Davidson, is expanding its model range with a battery-powered cruiser bike. Just like other models in the brand roster, the upcoming Livewire S2 Mulholland will be based on the modular Arrow platform that encases a 62.6 kW electric motor, a 10.5 kWh battery pack, and power electronics into one structural unit. The powertrain generates 194 pound-feet of torque and can bring you to the top speed of 100 miles per hour, while the 0 to 60 mile per hour sprint takes just 3.3 seconds. One full battery charge would grant you up to 120 miles in the city riding cycle, while a 0 to 80 percent recharge from the L2 station will take just 80 minutes. The bike backs up its eco-friendly nature by using sustainable materials and features an array of must-have safety features like CABS, enhanced traction control, and drag torque slip control. Rivet Outset Despite its relatively short existence, the California-based Rivet Motorcycles Company has gained the reputation of a manufacturer of versatile and relatively affordable electric motorcycles. For the 2025 model year, the brand has announced a new Scrambler-style model with dual-purpose capabilities. Deemed as the most affordable American bike with highway capabilities, the Rivet Outset features a 7.5-kilowatt air-cooled motor and a 4.3-kilowatt-hour battery pack. With such a setup, it can generate 53 pound-feet of torque and 14 kilowatts of peak power, which is enough to reach the top speed of 75 miles per hour. Considering that the bike weighs just 315 pounds, you can expect responsive handling and nimble riding dynamics for up to 70 miles between charges. Just like other bikes by this manufacturer, the Outset model is equipped with a removable battery pack that has an integrated charger and needs just about two hours to be topped up. Dustmoto Model 1 Dustmoto is a relatively young American bike company that has managed to develop electric dirt bikes that can not only equally compete with gas-powered models, but even outperform them in some aspects. The company is currently running a crowdfunding campaign that would allow them to produce 100 units of the Model 1 motorcycle. If you decide to join, the company execs promise to collect your riding data and feedback to make future improvements in the model's design. This bike weighs about 200 pounds and features a 26 kilowatt electric motor and a swappable 3.5 kilowatt hour battery pack. Such powertrain components enable it to produce 369 pound feet of torque and a top speed of 60 miles per hour. This mid sized dirt bike features a performance oriented geometry, full size wheels with 21 inch rims in the front and either 18 or 19 inch rims in the rear, 260 millimeter front and 275 millimeter rear suspension as well as front and rear disc brakes. Although the industry is slowly progressing, it seems that Asian manufacturers are taking the lead in the e-bike market. Should Americans be worried? Or the quality will eventually overcome quality? Share your thoughts below and we'll keep rolling. Zero Motorcycles DSR-X Zero Motorcycles first began exploring the concept of an adventure tourer back in 2021 when the limited Black Forest edition of the DSR model was announced. The next step in the evolution of this concept is the all-new DSR-X, which sports a more streamlined and athletic body, a completely new steel trellis frame, much more capable electric underpinnings, and a tougher package for off-road adventures. The bike operates with a brand new brushless Z4 7510X motor, the world's most robust e-bike carbon belt drive developed by Gates, and a mud port wheel sprocket. This setup reliably delivers 100 horsepower and 169 pound-feet of torque, good for propelling the DSR-X to the maximum speed of 112 miles per hour. To ensure adequate range parameters, Zero installed latest generation 17.3 kilowatt-hour Z-Force battery that can be further enhanced with a power pack, delivering a total of 110 through 180 miles of riding, which some might find completely suitable for full day trips. Zero's latest Cypher 3 Plus operating system is the best in the business, displayed on the full-color 5-inch TFT dash. 
The DSR-X rides on durable spoked wheels 19 and 17 inches in diameter, shot in Pirelli Scorpion Trail 2 tires, and has unmatched clearance of 9.7 inches. Surely, the stability control suite by Bosch is here. It controls brakes, and the Showa suspension on both ends is fully adjustable. Real Motors Project Ares Real Motors is the new name in the market of battery electric motorcycles. This US-based company is trying to bring new ideas to the industry with their conceptual bike called the Ares. The model showcases a modernized take on the classic cafe racer motorcycles. It features smooth body lines, a decorative orange stripe, a rectangular headlight, black decals, and a horizontal brake light in the rear. Not only did the bike's creators want to give their model a retro look, but also wanted to replicate the analog feeling of riding motorcycles in the past by minimizing the amount of digital controls. The Ares motorcycle is currently in the prototyping stage, but the company is planning its limited production in late 2025. Based on the already available information, this two-wheeler will be using an 11 kilowatt hour battery that will grant you the riding autonomy of 100 miles and the top speed capabilities of 90 miles per hour. Can-Am Origin Can-Am announced its return to the motorcycle market a year ago by unveiling two new bikes, Pulse and Origin, both powered by an electric drivetrain. Today, we're talking about the latter, the adventure-focused model that pays tribute to the brand's heritage in motocross racing. The bike is designed to be ridden in the city while also offering superior trail racing capabilities. It has a futuristic design with a double LED headlight and mismatched wheels. Its electric motor from Rotax is integrated into the front section of the swing arm sending power to the rear wheel via a final drive belt. This setup allows the drivetrain to be separated from the chassis, which is dedicated to accommodating the battery and electronics. We do not yet know the pack capacity and the range of the origin, but the company promises level 2 charging. Volcan Grunt Evo this 285-pound machine is based on an EXO arch frame that incorporates an 8-kilowatt motor, one standard battery, and one auxiliary battery pack with 2.3 kilowatt hours of capacity each. The motor output is transferred to the rear wheel via a Gates carbon belt drive system that is known for its near-silent operation. The performance that you can expect from this motor would max out at about 40 miles per hour. Volcon Grunt Evo is rolling on a set of wheels wrapped in iconic balloon tires. The two-wheeler is suspended by a rear coilover shock with preload adjustability by Walker Evans Racing and a 43mm inverted front fork. The bike's standard 2.3 kWh battery could keep the good times going for about 35 miles. If you decide to install an additional battery unit, you'd get an estimated range of 70 miles. The remaining range, speed, chosen ride mode, as well as other important information is shown on the bike's rounded color display. Tarform Vera For the 2025 model year, the Brooklyn-based Tarform Motorcycle Company has announced the second model in its history. Despite being more compact and lighter than the brand's first bike, the Vera is still highway-capable, unlike most lightweight e-motorcycles on today's market. To be suitable for reaching the 85mph highway speed, the Vera received an air-cooled motor with a 55kW peak output and an 8.5kWh battery pack. With so much power at your disposal, you can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds and cover distances up to 100 miles between charges. This American-made bike supports level 2 fast charging and can restore the charge from 0 to 100% in about 2 hours. Fuel Flow we first heard about fuel flow over three years ago when Eric Buell announced his new electric mobility endeavor. The motorcycle legend wanted to bring to the market a reliable electric vehicle for daily commuting. However, the path from the drawing board to the actual production didn't go as quickly as planned. Luckily, today fuel flow is available for purchase and you have a chance to electrify your daily riding with this futuristic looking two-wheeler. 
It's equipped with a 35 kilowatt in-wheel motor and a 10 kilowatt hour battery pack. The bike's powertrain has two power modes, urban mode, which is geared towards conserving energy, and the audacious mode, which unlocks 550 pound-feet of torque, zippy acceleration to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds, and an 85 mile per hour top speed. One full battery charge gets you up to 150 miles of city riding, and the supported fast charging feature could top up the battery to 90% in 30 minutes. However, in case of the home charging, you'd need to wait for up to 10 hours. Infinite Machine P1 With the dimensions of an electric Vespa and the design of a Tesla Cybertruck, the new P1 from the Brooklyn-based startup Infinite Machine aims to transform the micro-mobility market as we know it. The model is underpinned by an aluminum and steel frame. It has simple angular bodywork and can carry up to three battery packs at once. As standard, you get the scooter with a single, removable 3.6 kWh unit integrated into the floor, offering 60 miles of ride. Two more packs are available at an extra charge. The P1 is brought into motion by a 9-horsepower motor rated for 16 horses of peak output and capable of producing 55 mile per hour speeds. You can also ride it without the Class M motorcycle license, but then its performance will be limited to 35 miles per hour. The model offers four riding modes, Eco, Performance, Turbo Boost, and Reverse. You also get a digital display with Apple CarPlay and a theft prevention alarm. Another big advantage of the P1 is its modular luggage system. It includes a rear cargo box that can be fitted with additional external components like racks, luggage bags, or even loudspeakers. Thanks for sticking to the end. Are these models good enough to make you reach out for your money? Let's have a conversation in the comments below. Make sure to check other e-bike related videos on the screen and as always, may the torque be with you.